The supply chain crisis continues to take a toll, putting major pressure on small businesses. Yeah, and with the holiday season right around the corner, it's just one more added challenge in the fight to stay afloat. KZI 9 News reporter Kennedy Dendy checked in with stores around town to find out what their game plan was for the holidays. We're just doing what we can, doing what we can to stay positive. For Andrew Agater, the manager of Eugene Toy and Hobby, he typically stocks up for the holiday rush around late August. But this year is a different story. His store has been doing that since the end of April. Get out there when you can. Get out there as soon as you can because uh, the shelves are emptying quickly. And it's not just here locally. I mean, you see that anywhere you go. The supply chain crisis has had a tight grip on consumer goods, has led to microchip shortages and has sent many shoppers into a frenzy. It is getting um, thinner and thinner because of all the supply chains and everything else. It's getting harder and the prices are really going up. Staff inside tell me they've never seen anything like this before. Items that typically take a couple weeks to arrive have been on back order for months now. So many things are sold out. Hot Wheels, Mattel, Lego. We're not getting shipments that we made earlier in the year, first half of the year. And they say they're gonna get some stuff out, but uh, we'll see. But he's not alone. Brian Algie and the owner of the Lego resale store Bricks and Minifigs in Eugene has also seen this impact firsthand. About half of our business is new, new Lego sets and Lego is having a hard time keeping up with demand. His strategy to buy as much as he can as early as possible. If you, if you see something, get it now because it might not be available later. Experts expect supply chain issues impacting the U.S. to continue into 2022. Reporting in Eugene, Kennedy Dendy, KZI 9 News.